Hi, I'm Jason from Elevator Alley Kayak. And I'm Chris with Buffalo Niagara Waterkeeper. We're here today to show you the proper techniques for car top transportation of your kayak. At Buffalo Niagara Waterkeeper, a large part of our mission is connecting citizens to their water. What better way to connect with your water than to paddle your kayak in a safe fashion? There's been many instances of drivers losing their kayaks off of the roof of their car, putting other drivers in danger, and not to mention destroying your kayak. Here at Elevator LA Kayak, not only do you sell you the kayak, but all the gear you're going to need to transport it and paddle safely. Now let's start out with what your boat will be resting on on top of your car. The best case is to have a fixed roof rack with two crossbars. Some vehicles come with factory installed crossbars and there are also many brands of aftermarket racks you can purchase. If you're just trying out kayaking, you can get away with the foam blocks to protect your roof and rest your boat on. But if you plan on kayaking often, get yourself a good roof rack. The setup we have here is two J-cradles on our crossbars. There are many different options of accessories for the various rack manufacturers. At Elevator Alley Kayak, we have all the racks and accessories that are going to fit your needs. The first thing we're going to do is set our straps up before we load the boat. We recommend using cam straps as the best types of straps for kayaks. They're very secure and they won't over tighten and harm your boat like ratchet straps can do. So you want to loop your strap around the bar and move them to the front and the rear of your vehicle. Now you're ready to load your boat. Place your boat in the J-cradles. Now bring both ends of the straps over the boat and pull them until the cam buckle is in the high position on the boat. Take the loose end and wrap it under the bar and through the cam buckle. Pull on the strap until it's snug, but don't over tighten it as you will deform the shape of your boat. Tie up the loose end of the straps Make sure that it's not flapping in the wind. And repeat this process for the rear strap. Now these straps are holding your boat down to your rack, but you want to now use bow and stern lines as a safety measure. The high winds and drag for highway driving can put tremendous pressure on your roof rack, and these lines are an attachment to the vehicle and take stress off the rack and hold your boat on in case your rack fails. Some vehicles have two hooks or a trailer hitch, but with other vehicles, you may have to improvise to find an attachment. For the front of your car, you can purchase loop straps to feed through the frame underneath your hood, and then you just tuck them under the hood when you're not using them. The ratcheting hook ropes work great for bow and stir lines. Loop the non-ratcheting end of the rope through the handle of your kayak. Hook both ends onto the attachment point of your vehicle. Pull on the loose end to ratchet the rope Put on the loose end to tighten. Make it snug, but don't pull too tight. Make sure you tie the loose end of the rope. One last tip is to make sure you recheck the tension on your straps if you're making a long trip or leaving the boat on your car overnight, as the straps can lose tension over time. Now you're all set to get out and enjoy our waterways in Western New York. Remember, Buffalo Niagara Waterkeeper and Elevator Alley both want you to be safe out there on the water. For more safety tips and resources, go to www.bnwaterkeeper.org forward slash safety. Have fun out there.